Hello, Jesse Good here, back from another video. Today I'm reviewing the First Order Battle Pack, a LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens 2016 set. It has four minifigures, 88 pieces, and it retails for $13 in the United States. So here's the First Order Heavy Artillery Stormtrooper. This guy is exclusive to the set for his torso print, but the rest is the same as any other First Order Stormtrooper. And I like his little stud shooter. You could just kind of push down and it shoots out a little stud. And he has the regular clone kind of face, even though Stormtroopers aren't clones. So, yeah. So here is the Stormtrooper included. It's the same one found on the Duel on Tacky Dacky, or say the First Order Transporter. Uh, it has another stud shooter, identical to the last Stormtrooper, and he has the same face. So here's the first First Order crew member. And this guy, as far as I can tell, is a, has a new hat mold altogether. And that's really cool because that makes him also exclusive. And his face print is also really cool because that only came in Kylo Ren's command shuttle. So it's nice to get that in a set that's cheap. And he doesn't have any back face printing, unfortunately. And just like all other minifigures, he has a stud shooter. And that's the back of his torso in the front. So here's the First Order crew. This guy is found in a few other sets just like this with that same helmet, uh, which is Kylo Ren's shuttle and the First Order TIE Fighter, both of which I don't have. So it's cool to get this in a very cheap set. And you can see his face is the same that's found in a lot of other uh, Force Awakens sets. So here's a little shooter turret. It looks like something you'd see on the Starkiller base, but I don't remember seeing it. And what's really interesting is that uh, they don't include a vehicle in this set. So this is the only build, but there's some cool parts to it. You could flap out this part right here. And there's a little control panel for like a ground crew member to kind of control it. And then on this side right here, they have a little some extra studs just in case you lose this stud, or you could use the studs for the stud shooter, which would be the red studs. Um, the little kind of shooting uh, part can be positioned, but it's kind of weird that it only goes down. However, once it's kind of positioned up, you know you could shoot far away like that. So overall, pretty solid build. I like how it came out though, um, and it's kind of interesting they don't include a vehicle, but still this works out as a build for me. So now into box and the final verdict. And here's a box for the set. Interesting that they don't use a punch and it's just these two tapes. But uh, then you got this little instruction booklet and there's an interesting app advertisement on the back. So overall, this set is a winner. I mean, I originally put this only on my anticipated list, but along with the other Resistance Trooper Battle Pack, I think they're both on par. They follow a lot of the same principles. Uh, I mean, like, this is the cheapest way to get the Stormtrooper. And the other sets is the cheapest way to get the Resistance Trooper. There's new minifigures like this guy right here and this guy right here. Uh, and they both kind of have a cool small build, but one's a uh, kind of play set, I guess, esque build, and the other one's a, a little uh, actual vehicle. So I'd rate this set an A. My only problem with it is, sure, it kind of would have been cooler if they include another Stormtrooper and probably knock out this guy right here. Uh, but I do like that they include this guy. Um, now that I notice that this little hat piece is new. So I think that's actually better than this guy right here. Uh, but I do like this heavy duty one. I think that's actually kind of cool. So that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later.